Hey everybody, it's Booby for 041. This is a video of my results from the most recent show I went to, Manchester Model Madness, this past Sunday, May 17th. It was a really awesome show. I got to judge, which was absolutely amazing. All the novices that entered were really great. It was really nice talking to them and judging their horses and answering their questions. So I do hope to continue judging in the future. The classes were fairly tough, OF being one of the most tough for me. I only got one NAN card in both OF Stone and OF Briar, so, but I'm still not going to complain. It was a great show with great people, and there were some beautiful models there. So let's get started with the results. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to go by shelf. The Dark Knight, my Tortillas, got a second place in a NAN card in his class. Pacemaker on the left got a fifth in breed and fifth in collectability in his class, and Chrisman Crusader on the right did not place. Out of these two guys, none of them placed, which was kind of sad, but again, the classes were very large. And out of my two stones, Silver Mist on the left did not place, and Faith on the right got a third in collectability. Supernatural, my Matt Bay Pop Cork got a fifth place in breed in his class, and Carlisle did not disappoint, and he got a third place in collectability in his large pony class. Spring Awakening placed, and he got a third place in breed and a third place in collectability in the Stone Morgan class. And this little guy who is over here on the windowsill, this was his first show. His name is Triple Miracle, and he did not place. It was a very large class. Out of my four issues, only two placed. That would be this guy, Day Trader, who got a third place in his class, which I was really proud about. And this guy, Oliver Twist, got a sixth place in breed and a judge's choice in collectability. These three models did not place. And my little straighten head weanling, who I call Straight No Chaser, got a sixth place in collectability in his class. Now for the customs and artist resins. These are the divisions that I did the best in. All of my horses that placed either got a first or a second, which is awesome. Only two of my customs did not place, and only one of my artist resins did not place. This beautiful girl, my custom Gigi Valentine by Monica West, got a first place in breed and a second place in workmanship in her class, which was awesome. She also went on to get a division champion in breed of the custom sport division, and then she also went on to get an overall breed top five out of all the customs. So she was my best placer of the day. Desi also did not disappoint. He got a first place in workmanship and a second place in breed in his class. He did not get any rosettes this time, but that's fine. He's still my favorite horse. This guy did not place in breed or workmanship in his class. The model on the left, Amber Glow, did awesome. She got a first place in breed in a first place in workmanship in her class. And then the one on the right wild card is the one that I forgot to show because Custom Thoroughbred was the first class and I forgot him. This little Peter Stone Chips mule, also by Monica West, his name is Sunrise Serenity, he also did not disappoint again, he usually places very well, and he got a first place in workmanship and a second place in breed in his class. My newest little guy, a custom frolicking foal who I called Metallic Lightning, got a second place in breed and a second place in workmanship in his foal class. Lily got a first place in workmanship and a second place in breed in her class. Everlasting Love got her first NAN cards at this show. She got a second place in breed and a second place in workmanship in her class. Zeeb added to his NAN card collection and got a second place in breed and a first place in workmanship in his two horse class. Leoncito did not place and this little lady, my Schleich donkey, which I call Moxie, did not place in the OF donkey class. These were the rosettes that I earned. The fourth place was for a fun class and then the other two rosettes are the division champion, which is the middle one that Gloria earned for the custom sport breeds, and then she got a top five overall, which is the far left, for custom breed, which was awesome. Okay guys, so that's it for my results from Manchester Model Madness. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. Bye guys!